What's up, everybody? What do you say we make some content today and go to a lake? That's right, I said a lake. Today we are going to explore Clark Lake and C.J. Brown Reservoir. This can be broken into two segments, so stay with me. You ever had one of those days where you leave the house on a wing and a prayer? A wing and a prayer, I'm not talking about your gas light. Yeah, well I left, went to go do some stuff at the bank for the wife. Knew I had gas I needed to get. Went to go ahead to the lake and my gas light's on and in these new dumbfounded vehicles instead of like our other cars and trucks back when I was younger it tells you how many miles you have left mine doesn't have mileage left on it it just says low so on a wing and a prayer I'm gonna pray I can make it to the next gas station so if you will say a prayer with me let's see if this ends up being a good idea or a bad idea well I luckily made it to the gas station and I was puffing fumes I believe it's a mile and a half and it still said low fuel probably gonna take forever and a year just to go ahead and fill this damn tank up you know but I will say this much I pulled into Springfield and I keep on forgetting and I do this a lot in my videos because I have ADHD uh, the, I keep on forgetting to mention where a lot of your uh, boat marinas and your bait shops are so I will tell you now that I am here in Springfield on a corner of Bird and East National and there is Ohio Marine and RV and I'll go ahead and turn and let you see it because we can only see it from afar because I don't want to go over and bother them because I really don't have that many followers right now so right there is Ohio Marine and RV and if you can see that really well um, I know for a while when I first moved here there was a marine company there but I think it was under a different name uh, but uh, I really don't have much on it to say um, I do know that they do inboard outboard marine parts electronics uh, boat accessories water skis and water tubes um, but they have a lot of boats over there honest to godly they have a few cars and a few motorcycles as well but you know I'd, any company going ahead and scrapping when you first start up always has to sell something to start to keep on going. Um, even me. Just not selling my body yet. Notice I said yet. So folks, we're going to go to the second lake first. Since I went ahead and uh, made the lovely mistake of almost running out of gas. Man, it sure is cold out here. I need to put something on. Oh, now that's better. All right, so everybody, so like I said, this lake is a really nice lake. Um, the only thing I do see a downside of it is if you like to do shore fishing like I do and fish off the bank, um, I'm going to be honest with you, there is a lot of boulders out here. And I mean a lot. This place is actually better if you have a boat a lot of fish in here so I'll give you an idea I'll just turn this around see all the boulders out there and all along here it's like it's all the way around this place like I said it's not bad it is a very good recreational area um, the one thing I do like is the upkeep of this park is very nice um, you can come out here and if you have a picnic there's grills there's picnic tables there's benches the one thing i do like is i lived in georgia for seven and a half years so the one thing i liked about georgia is their trash receptacles oh how didn't really have anything like that and they have trash receptacles like that so that way raccoons and other uh wildlife can't get in the trash me no um yeah but you know, this time of year, it's really nice out. There is a uh, marina across. Um, they do sell mainly just worms. Um, I don't know if you can see it from here. It's across there, right across the way. Um, with this camera, I don't know if you guys can see that far. Um, there is also a beach and a camping area here. Um, there is also an area over there where a lot of people go ahead and have picnics on the side. 
just to the view of this entire lake. It is very pretty out here. It is a large lake. Um, try and think here at the same time. There's crappie, bass, bluegill, sunfish. I've caught about everything out here, including carp that are huge. Um, if you really want to shore fish, you go over by the uh, by the marina and take your chances over there, um, or go over close by the beach. Uh, we'll go ahead and pause out of here, and I'll take you guys down below and show you the recreation area I was talking about earlier. Okay, so this is the area I was talking about. It's the Prairie View Picnic Area. There are restrooms over here, which are very clean from what I can see. Um, and there is a picnic area with some, uh, yeah, some playground equipment. And I'm not a playground guy, so I mean, my kids are grown to be 18, 20. Uh, so yeah, this, here's what it looks like. It's not really much. Just a small swing over there for the parents. That way they don't totally lose their shit. Sorry. We're parents. We do lose ours our shit. Um, the inside of this, uh, it's actually halfway decent. There's some tape here from people having parties or whatever, but it's actually pretty nice. And then there's the prairie view. Very pretty. Oh, and up the pop there, there is a walking path. You can walk all the way around the reservoir. There is the dam I was talking to you about that I haven't seen it overflow since ever. Um, and over there is the lovely Springfield landfill. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head to the bait shop next. I really don't have this scripted, if you can tell. Seems I sort of got here at the wrong time. I was going to take you guys inside. It's a Lakeside General Store bait and tackle. It's over here. Uh, the Ranger is also inside from what I read online. Um, this is what it looks like from the outside. Great place. I've actually been in here. They do have a lot. They sell minnows. They sell worms. They sell wax worms, wed worms. You name it, they sell it here. And there is also what they call a live bait, the angler on the outside. Um, where you can get bait in a time when you can't in normal places. Um, there is another bait shop on the other side, but I've noticed changed. I noticed this changed owners probably like three times. So let's go ahead and look here. I'm gonna show you. So it's cash only bills, and it is the angler. It has batteries in there. It has a little bub the little bubbler. Um, it has worms. It has catfish bait. It even has a light stick in there. Um, they do sell ice. They sell stuff to drink here. What it is, I have no idea, but here as well, there's the winter hours. So they are closed Monday and Tuesday. Guess what? It's Tuesday. And they are open Wednesday through Sunday, 8 to 5. And like I said, support your local business. Um, they also sell firewood here that if you're camping at the campground over here. Um... I don't mind getting wood from other places. Uh, I do bring wood from where I live at because I have a lot of the limbs that fall and large trees. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and head to Clark Lake, shall we? Now I'm gonna let y'all know too that see, this little small lake we're going to, which is Clark Lake, is a hidden gem to me. So we moved up back up here from Georgia in March of 2020 and at that time you know COVID was here um, and there was nothing that was open so you really couldn't get out and do anything and it was approaching summer and I'm an avid fisherman I mean like my wife will literally tell me that she knows I'm in a bad mood and she says go fishing because I come back in a totally different mood because I just it's just settling so with that said, I'll tell you that when we come up here to this, it's kind of hidden back in a little uh, side road. But you will take the road they call Columbus Road or Old Columbus Road, either from uh, the Madison County side, which is in London, Ohio, or you take it from the Springfield side. We have made it here. Shut up, car. 
We have made it here, Clark Lake, the hidden gem I've been telling you about. This is my favorite lake here in this part of Ohio, only because of the fact that this is a lake I found by accident, literally. I was attending college at Clark State, and I just accidentally found this place. I looked on Google Maps, I was like, ooh, what's that? I come back here and found this place, and it's actually a decent sized lake. It's a little bit bigger than Madison Lake. Um, so when you come out here, there is a concrete dock. There is two sides for a boat launch. There is my car. Oh, there's a little garage area over there. It looks like it used to be a ranger. There is a porta potty over there. Um, probably, I think it's the only one on the property, to be honest. That's the only downside of this place. But this lake is massive for the area. This is a runoff lake for farms, so don't hold me to, you know, eating fish out of here. I'm not taking anything away from farmers, but, you know, this is a great place to fish if you're doing catch and release. I mainly do catch and release unless I go to Lake Erie. So here's a look at what it looks like out here. And kind of hidden over in an area over here, there's a small dam that I went ahead and I fished at. Um, and I caught a nice sized catfish out here. Um, I found out that more of your bluegills and your crappies are more here on the right side, which would actually be the east side of the lake. Um, your catfish are more here in this channel right here where I'm at right now and over by the reservoir. So I'm going to take you to the other side and show you off the road where you also can go. Okay everybody, so here's the other side of the lake I was telling you about. It comes back on a windy, curvy road back here. Um, it goes all the way around. Uh, but yes, there is area here. There's some uh, branches over here. I like coming over here as well every so often. Because you can literally sit your chair, and it's bad because people just leave beer cans here, but you can literally sit your chair right here and go fishing. I love it, and there's no snags here. Um, there is a tire down here, I just noticed. Uh, but there is no snags over here. It's very nice. You're going to come here and do some catfishing on a clear day. I mean, just look at the glass on that water. That is just beautiful. I love this. It's getting that time of year, people, where I'm really wanting to get outside. <laughs> starting to get that finger going again. My hand's starting to get a twitch. But, um, yeah, this is actually a really good lake here in Clark County. Like I said, this is a hidden gem. Um, if you want to come out here, I believe, don't hold me to it, I believe it's still in trolling motor. Uh, but with the size of lake this is, you really can't complain. Like I said, you can shore fish off of a lot of area over here. Um, I know there are duck blinds around here too. Some that are left all year round. Um, I really don't see a ranger out here that much. I know you cannot have fires out here. Um, I also notice there's no camping. Which is kind of a downer because I think this Ostagali would be a really good place for a camping site. I mean just for the size this place is. There is a road that goes all the way around from where I was, the dock, and goes around and goes to the back where there's another area where kayaks let in a lot. Um, the only downside I will tell you about this lake that I really don't like is I have a canoe and I respect other fishermen. But there are kayakers that will come through and they will cut your line. That is just rude. I do a catch and release. I respect you. I expect it to be the other way around. Just respect is given, not earned, you know? Um, with that said, we're going to end it today. And today's sponsor is absolutely nobody. Because like I said, I have five followers, 78 views. And I want to thank those five followers for sticking through me with all this. Because it's been hell. I've been putting content on here like crazy. I'm going to keep on doing it no matter how many followers I got. Because this is what I want to do, not what you want to do. Can I take advice from you? Yes. Or if you're a YouTuber, yes, I will take advice from you. 
you know, I, I try and film in chronological order, so I try and figure out things unless I fuck up and my ADHD takes over. Which is what happened today. So have a good day, y'all. Okay, so this is the area I was talking about. It's the Prairie View picnic area. There are restrooms over here. Which are very clean from what I can see. Um, and there is a picnic area with some, uh, yeah, some playground equipment. And I'm not a playground guy, so, I mean, my kids are grown to be 18, 20. Uh, so, yeah, it's, here's what it looks like. It's not really much. There's a small swing over there for the parents. That way they don't totally lose their shit. Sorry. We're parents. We do lose our shit. Um, the inside of this, uh, it's actually halfway decent. There's some tape here from people having parties or whatever, but... And then there's the prairie view. Very pretty. Oh, and up the pop there, there is a walking path. You can walk all the way around the reservoir. There is the dam I was talking to you about that I haven't seen get overflow since ever. Um, and over there is the lovely Springfield landfill. <laughs> so let's go ahead and head to the bait shop next. I really don't have this scripted, if you can tell. Alright, so everybody, so, like I said, this lake is a really nice lake. Um, the only thing I do see a downside of it is if you like to do shore fishing like I do, and fish off the bank, um, I'm going to be honest with you, there is a lot of boulders out here. And, I mean a lot. This place is actually better if you have a boat. There's a lot of fish in here, so I'll give you an idea. I'll just turn this around. See all the boulders out there? All along here. It's like it's all the way around this place. Like I said, it's not bad. It is a very good recreational area. Um, the one thing I do like is the upkeep of this park is very nice. Um, you can come out here, and if you have a picnic, there's grills. There's picnic tables, there's benches. The one thing I do like is, I lived in Georgia for seven and a half years, so the one thing I liked about Georgia is their trash receptacles. Ohio didn't really have anything like that. And they have trash receptacles like that, so that way raccoons and other uh, wildlife can't get in the trash. Me. No. Um, yeah, but, you know, this time of year it's really nice out. There is a uh, marina across... Um, they do sell mainly just worms. Um, I don't know if you can see it from here. It's across there, right across the way. Um, with this camera, I don't know if you guys can see that far. Um, there is also a beach and a camping area here. Um, there is also an area over there where a lot of people go ahead and have picnics on the side. Just to the view of this entire lake. It is very pretty out here. It is a large lake. Um try and think here at the same time there's crappie bass bluegill sunfish i've caught about everything out here including carp that are huge um if you really want to shore fish you go over by the uh by the marina and take your chances over there um or go over close by the beach uh we'll go ahead and pause out of here and i'll take you guys down below and show you the recreation area i was talking about earlier so I guess I was wrong. We are going to have a premiere of Sam. Say hi, Sam. Sammy. Go to me. Hi. Where are we going? We going to Kroger? Huh? It's the only dog I know that you mentioned the word Kroger and he likes going. He sits in the basket of our of the cart and he gets pets by everybody. Look at this little spoiled thing. Look at him. Can you tell everybody hi, Sam? Huh? Sam. You going to tell everybody hi? Huh? No, you want to look out the window, don't you? You going to tell everybody hi? What? You can't come over here to Daddy. No, you can't sit on my lap. Get back. This dog is spoiled. By me, of course. Hey, I forgot as well. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you would for me. 
I need all the help I can get. And remember to share this with your friends.